In 1589 John Drummond Ernock was a royal forester in the forest of Glenarty, Scotland. He was responsible for policing the forest and as part of his occupation, he came in contact with a group of MacGregors known as the Maitia, or Children of the Mist. His various run-ins with this group led to several hangings of the Maitias due to infractions or crimes taking place in Glenarty Forest. This small band of young MacGregors became fed up with John Drummond Ernock and ambushed him while he was attending to his duties. They cut off his head, wrapped it in a plaid and carried it off as a trophy. The group then made its way to the house of Ardvillich and demanded hospitality from the lady of the house, Margaret, who happened to be John Drummond Ernock's pregnant sister. Too afraid to refuse she went to the kitchen to prepare a meal for the MacGregor men. While she was gone they placed her brother's head upon the table and filled the mouth with bread and in jest, encouraged it to eat. When the lady of the house returned she shrieked in horror and fled to the woods. Tradition states that she wandered the woods for several weeks as a raving maniac until her husband, Laird Alexander Stewart, was able to find her and coax her home. The band of MacGregors left Ardvillich House and took the head to the old church in Balquida where they presented it to the chief and their clansmen. Each clansman took a turn approaching the head, putting their hands on it and swearing an oath to protect the men who had slain John Drummond Ernock. In May of 1590, James VI and his wife, Anne of Denmark, were scheduled to arrive in Scotland where she would be crowned Queen in Edinburgh. To prepare, the Scottish authorities decided it was important to crack down on lawless clans. One of these targets was the MacGregors in Balquida. Lord Drummond of Perth, who was seeking revenge for the murder of his cousin Anik, accepted a denunciation of fire and sword against the clan MacGregor from James and his council. Drummond wasted no time in planning his attack against the MacGregors. He was able to enlist the help of Stuart of Ardvillich who was also eager to avenge the death of his brother-in-law, and the distress of his wife. The Drummonds descended upon the MacGregors with what one historian claims was an insatiable thirst, in one instance the Drummonds butchered 37 defenceless MacGregors on one farm alone. Any captured MacGregors were tried on the spot and executed. This led to a series of events over the next 150 years that made the MacGregors the most hunted clan in Scottish history. James Stewart, Margaret Stewart's son and John Drummond Ernock's nephew, grew up to become an extremely well-connected nobleman within the Scottish court. James harbored a resentment against the MacGregor clan and used his influence to ensure that the MacGregors remained outlawed in Scotland. The hatred became so bitter that upon James Stewart's death a band of MacGregors attempted to intercept his funeral procession to cut off his head.